Hello everyone, my name is Hamad Azara. I'm a PhD student in the data science group Balabon University. Today I'm presenting to you our paper entitled Multiplex for key phrase extraction using language models and knowledge graphs. This is a joint work with my colleagues at Balabon University, Daniel Formos, Muhammad Sharif, and Professor Axel Nagonga. Our paper is about key phrase extraction, and this task aims to extract a small set of phrases that best describe a document. It is important for other applications like summarization of text and indexing and categorization. Also, this task can be divided into two subtasks, present key phrase extraction and absent key phrase generation. In present key phrase extraction, the goal is to extract key phrases that appear in text. For example, in this text, we have two key phrases, uh, safety of information and security breach. We call these key phrases as a present key phrases. Uh, this task uh, can be approached using unsupervised methods and supervised methods, uh, like TFIDF, text rank, and supervised methods, copy RNA and auto key generation. While absent key phrase generation is more challenging than present key phrase extraction, because the goal here is to find relevant key phrases that are not exist in text. For example, here we can identify three absent key phrases relevant to this text, but it does not exist in it, which requires to incorporate an external source of knowledge to find these key phrases. This is also important for a short text with limited content, for example, tweets or paper abstracts, which can have few present key phrases only, and we need to find more. Then we need to do absent key phrase generation. There are two state-of-the-art approaches, um, unsupervised auto query generations and supervised copy RNN for absent key phrase generation. This is an overview of the related works in key phrase generation in key phrase extraction in general. For example, we can use TF TFIDF to uh, compute word uh, frequency and uh, inverse document frequency. Then we rank word based on these scores and we find top K as a uh, output key phrases. Also, we can use text rank to construct a graph from the input document which node, uh, in which nodes corresponds to a key phrase. Then we can uh, ranking uh, these nodes uh, using a ranking uh, algorithm like beige rank, for example, to find top key phrases. Also, we can use a statistical approach called the YAC, which compute key phrases based on word occurrence. Embedding approaches also can be used here. You, for example, embed rank, which embeds document and candidate key phrases together in one semantic space, then find output key phrases by uh, cosine similarity to identify most similar uh, candidate key phrases to the document in the semantic space. Uh, state of the art copy RNN, this is a supervised approach which requires a uh, large scale training data to train a sequence to sequence model to extract present key phrases and also use a copy mechanism to generate absent key phrases. While uh, auto key generation, this is unsupervised approach. Also, it employs sequence to sequence model to extract present key phrases and construct a phrase bank from all key phrases in the data set to generate absent ones. The idea here is that absent key phrases of a target document can be uh, obtained from other relevant documents. We identified some limitations of existing state-of-the-art approach. For example, supervised copy RNN requires a larger scale label data set to train the key phrase model efficiently uh, in to, to find key phrases. And also it employs copy uh, mechanism for this uh, task. Uh, auto key generation, it is unsupervised approach, but it constructs a, a phrase bank of all key phrases. This phrase bank is domain specific and only relevant to the data sets that created from it or this domain. In our approach, our goal is to extract present key phrases and also generate absent ones with less uh, computation resources or computation uh, cost. For example, here we uh, are motivated to use and leverage pre-computed resources 
like state-of-the-art language models and also knowledge graphs. These are rich, rich resources that can um, uh, generate a lot of information and leverage it in different tasks. Our approach called multipacks. It is a multitask framework that extract present key phrases using language models, also generate absent key phrases from knowledge graphs, and finally retrieve top similar key phrases to the source document based on semantic similarity. Our approach doesn't require any labeled datasets to train the model or constructing domain specific vocabulary or phrase bank. Multibax contains three main components. First component is present key phrase extractions with BERT model. This is the language model we use in our approach. Also, second component, absent key phrase generation with MAC entity uh, framework to link with DBpedia knowledge graphs. And finally, semantic match. In, absent, in present key phrase extraction, we use BERT model as follows. For the input document, we tokenize it using Enigram tokens. This N, based on our experiments, we use N equal maximum uh, to 10. Also, we tag these tokens using part of a speech to identify nouns and verbs and adjectives. Uh, then the next step, we remove stop words and keep only noun phrases. We embed the source document and all candidate noun phrases in one semantic space. Then we find the top K, uh, similar based using cosine similarity to the source document as a candidate for present key phrases. In the second component for absent key phrase generation, we use the extracted present key phrases from previous one to find absent key phrases as follows. In this component, we use MAC entity linking. It is an open source framework that can link text phrases using uh, with DBpedia. In our approach, we adapt it to link present key phrases using with DBpedia. First, it find a list of candidates or generate a list of candidates to the input and also do candidate disaggregation until find its DBpedia resource. For example, given a present key phrase, earthquake, MAC entity linking first, uh, find its corresponding DBpedia URI, which is here DBR earthquake. With this DBpedia URI, we can find more semantic relations that's relevant to uh, absent key phrases. Also, we can link it with DBpedia to find more relevant terms using the semantic relations. Finally, we embed document and the candidate of uh, candidate present key phrases and candidates absent key phrases all of them in one semantic space and use cosine similarity to find top key, uh, key phrases to this source document or the target document as a final output. We conducted uh, several experiments to first verify the efficiency in our approach in extracting present key phrases. Also, we observed that existing evaluation metrics use exact matching. Our question here, to, is this exact matching evaluation is suitable for absent key phrases or not? The last question is to answer how much each component of our approach contribute to the overall performance. In our experiments, we employed different benchmark data sets, namely in aspect, Krabvin, same evaluation and NOS. Also, we employed different baselines from the related works for present key phrase evaluations and absent key phrase uh, generation also. First experiment showed that our approach achieved significant performances against different baselines on different base, uh, different data sets. This evaluation results confirm that uh, BERT language model is efficient um, and rich resource for extracting present key phrases. In the second evaluation, we observe that uh, a model can generate uh, for example, disaster relief organization as a candidate for absent key phrases, while the gold standard data is crisis response institute. These two terms are uh, using the existing metrics are not matched because it uses exact matching. However, if we embed them together in one semantic space, this metrics can, uh, this evaluations or this semantic space shows that they are close to each other and semantically relevant. 
So we are motivated to improve this evaluation using embedding-based comparison. We conducted the second experiment for this purpose. First, we compare our approach against existing state-of-the-art baselines in this task, and it shows that all of all approaches, including multiplex, show poor performances using exact matching here. However, if we uh, if we include semantic matching here, it shows informative performances with a semantic comparison between absent key phrases. Um, generated absent key phrases and golden standard one. Uh, for two data sets, we were not able to uh, link our approach multiplex uh, with uh, same evaluation and crafting because the present key phrases in these two data sets are not covered in TBpedia. The last experiment evaluates the contribution of our approach um, uh, on the overall performance. Obviously, here we uh, find that multiplex present key phrase extraction. This is main con main component of our approach, and it contributes significantly um, uh, in the overall performances. This contribution can be improved if we link if when we link it, it with uh, DBpedia and BubbleNet. We find also DBpedia contains more informations and semantic relations than BubbleNet. This leads to uh, generate more absent key phrases. In conclusion, uh, we propose a multiplex. This is unsupervised multitask approach that extract present key phrases and generate absent ones. This, our approach uh, is first attempt that leverage uh, existing knowledge graphs in generating absent key phrases without the need uh, of require of constructing domain specific phrase banks or vocabularies. Also, we propose and introduce a new embedding based evaluation metric to compare between two absent key phrases based on their semantic similarity. Our approach is open source and available at the project website. In the future work, we plan to extend the coverage of MAC entity linking by incorporating YAG knowledge graphs also. Also, we plan to apply multiplex recursively on DBpedia abstracts to find more relevant terms. Thanks a lot of your, for your attentions. If you have any questions, feel free to send me an email or to follow us in our Twitter uh, account.